What was that? Uh. <laughs> hey, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. Boo! <laughs> and I'm Matt. Yeah, it is for Halloween Fest. You're right, Ellie. I'm just giving you a quick little boo. Yeah, hey, everybody. How's it going? Now it's time for one of my main picks of this year's Halloween Fest. Of course, it's Halloween Fest. i got to have a Castlevania game on standby. Duh. At least one. At least one. Yeah, that's right. I think I remember saying clearly that last year I tried not to make Halloween, like uh, Rondo Blood, the next Halloween pick I do, and I end up doing it again this year. Right. Like, whatever. F fucking happens. <laughs> I blame Link's Awakening. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, this is Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Originally, for the longest time, a Japanese exclusive Castlevania game. And sure enough, it ends up being one of the best in the classic Vania uh, series, and we don't get it until, like, the PSP remake. Some 15 released in like 2007, I believe. Yeah, and that was a remake of this game, but it also, for the first time, had an English translated version of the original game. Yeah, we're not playing that version. We're playing the re-release on the Virtual Console, which is based off the original Japanese version, except for this narration that's playing right now. now you see, in the original game, this uh, this intro was dubbed in German. Yeah, but the German voice was different. For the PSP version, they redubbed it with a new uh, German dub, and for some reason they kept that for the virtual console release of this game. But uh, yeah, it's a little odd. Despite that, we still can't read what's going on because the subtitles are in Japanese. So, pretty much, uh, we killed someone, brought Dracula back, he's wreaking havoc, we got Richter here to save everyone. There you go. So, a dark priest called Shaft. Shaft! Can you <laughs> Damn right. You know, he's a mean mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Shaft. Then we can dig it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Now we got that out of the way. Uh, so, the dark priest uh, sa sacrificed the girl to resurrect the Count. Because it is on the eve, I believe, of every 100 years that he's brought back. And, you know, you would think to stop the all-world-encompassing evil from doing the back every hundred years by doing that shit, but, you know, dirt. Yeah. But wait, which Eve is it? Is it Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving Eve, <laughs> no, the all Eve of his Eve? Eve? The Easter Eve of his resurrection. Easter Eve. He resurrects naturally every 100 years, so says the classic lore. And uh, I think it was, Shafton was like, okay, the alarm clock was going to go off. <laughs> Get that virgin sacrifice Three, ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy Death Dracula. Okay, well. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Castlevania Rondo of Blood, known as uh, Chino Rondo in Japanese. No, I think it's Akumajo Dracula Chino Rondo in Japanese. Bless you. Uh, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> you're so considerate. And yeah, as you can tell from the save files, I have played this a number of times because this is, in fact, my favorite of the classic Vanias. Uh, I, I like the uh, the multiple character aspect from Castlevania. Uh, no. Castlevania is back. Uh, I uh, I like the level design. I love the sound. Oh, the soundtrack is phenomenal <laughs> in this game. A lot of it is, uh, to be fair, is like remixes of previous tunes, but they're remixes of previous tunes that I heavily enjoyed in the first place. So right. it's just a win-win for me. And you know the the production values for a game released in 1993 for Castlevania. Are this game good. looked phenomenal. So here we go. We got Ryu from Street Fighter getting <laughs> ready to head inside the horse carriage. You know the. the he, he, he's heard the call, and he's not going to be one to ignore it because he's a fucking Belmont. Yep. That's his job. He's Richter fucking Belmont. More like because the neighbors won't stop nagging him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even the undead one. The ghost is like, go, go, all right, fine. See, when the skeletons came up, I was expecting another one to rise up close to do a scare. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that fair maiden? Holy shit. So you beat them in one game of football, and the fucking team is a sore, bunch of sore losers. <laughs> They're going to Nebraska in the day of town. So what, they're Eagles fans? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. They're not going to make this. <laughs> no, they're Cowboy fans. <laughs> Too bad your whip don't look none like that. <laughs> well, it does. I mean, we never get that Once close to it, it anyway. Up. Yeah. So this is Richter Belmont, next up in line in the, of the Belmont family, and um, he rocks. He does. <laughs> I mean, he knows how to use the vampire killer like classic tradition, but he also knows how to use sub weapons efficiently. But can he strut? Not yeah, he can strut and he can ride a carriage. Oh no shit! Like he knows this that guy's this guy's a total package. Yeah, this guy is like, is like if if I strut, I'm not going to be there until the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to take my carriage. Welcome stage to stage zero, the prologue. Oh, this is my favorite stage. It's a yeah. dark prologue. and stormy night. <laughs> Dracula attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa, it's Sigma. No. <laughs> Or is it? No, it's it's it's, it's death. Ain't that, a, ain't that a bad start to your night? The yeah. fucking Grim Reapers after you? <laughs> yeah, right? for a day. No, but he's playing it smart. He's like, you know, like I know a Belmont's on his way. I'm going to get him before he even gets to the castle. Smart. Not many times you fight death right at the get-go. It's true. 
Whoa. Hadouken. Oh, fuck. No, like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, truce for now. <laughs> I'm out of options. So back at the castle? Yep. Back, yeah, at, the back castle. at the castle. Back at the castle. <laughs> Toodle you. Hiya. You can sit back down, Rector. No. <laughs> now I'm already standing up. Now we got our proper beginning. Stage one. Something in Japanese. So wait. City on fire. Yeah. <laughs> City on fire. <laughs> so wait, isn't R Rondo a blood for the SNES? Wasn't that kind uh, of a okay. port of this? Yeah, let's talk about the attempt to bring this game over to uh, yeah. international audiences. So yeah, uh, Rondo of Blood was released for the PC Engine. Uh, to make it more accurate, the uh, oh, hold on, let me read this. Oh, song. we're in Castlevania too. Yeah, Bruce, yeah good start. Flip, flip there, you know, I just like that. You know, I love reading so much. <laughs> 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 that is kind of like okay. So we can't uh, read that. So what? It, this is this is in actuality. The same town from Castlevania Two, Simon's yeah. Quest. Well, one of the towns from Castlevania Two, Simon's Quest, and it's on fire. Long after Simon, long after Simon could do anything about yeah. it. Yeah, you know what? Karma. I don't want to do anything now. I'm <laughs> gonna sit over here, let it burn. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what I was getting back to originally is that uh, Rondo of Blood was originally a game for the PC Engine. Ba basically, it was the equivalent of the uh, add-on for the TurboGrafx-16 in Japan. Uh, the TurboGrafx CD, I think it was. Uh, that's why the production values of this game are so high. That's why you got CD quality music, because it was originally a CD prime game. Uh, we didn't get that because I don't know if like Link Ring sells the TurboGrafx CD. They thought it wasn't worth it. Probably. There's that. There's also the fact that sounding sounding like from porting the, this from the PC to the Super Nintendo and well, it's just Genesis. not. It's just not possible. Yeah. Right. That's the kind of thing the Super Nintendo FX chip would have nightmares over. Yeah. Not even. I don't even think the FX chip could even simulate. I mean, maybe close. I mean, Yoshi's Island is still a really good looking game. You know, and to be fair, uh, right, so to go back to what we were originally saying, they couldn't give us Rondo of Blood directly to the Super Nintendo. So instead, they did a reimagining of the game on the Super Nintendo called uh, Castlevania Dracula X. Yeah, it is pretty much the same plot, but the level design is way different. Uh, you can't do as much with Richter, I believe, uh, and it's just—it's not a bad game. But it, compared to previous Castlevanias on the Super Nintendo, I Super Castlevania Four, yeah. uh, it's a step down. Yeah, it's not the worst I've ever played, but it's like a step down from both Super Castlevania Four and definitely a step down from but the original. It, but Rondo it's Blood. it's someday it could have done better. Yes, it could have been a lot better. And the final boss is just utter horseshit. Yeah, but we're not playing that version of the game. We're yet. playing the version where you throw drag axes at a dragon's face. Damn right, I love purple <laughs> dragons. <laughs> I love you. Oh. No shit. So we're fighting Ridley. In a yeah, way. in a way. <laughs> Screams like a female, too. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a true wyvern. So uh, if you beat a boss without getting hit at all, I'm not sure if you have to be at full health or you just don't have to take a hit at all, uh, you get a no damage bonus, which gives you an immediate one-up, oh. which is kind of pointless when you're thinking that if you... Didn't need, if you didn't take a hit in the first place, you probably don't need that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, but basically, uh, Rondo of Blood is just a continuation of the Classic Mania series. You have linear left to right level progression. Uh, you got a lot of varied themes here, uh, similar to Castlevania 4. We don't start immediately in the castle. We're starting on the upskirts to the castle. Yeah. Or walking to the castle. <laughs> yeah. Or no, wait, hold on. Let me... No, you know what? Actually, I'll hold on to the dagger. Because the dagger is actually pretty useful in this. The diary? The, the dagger. dagger, not the oh. diary. Let's get the, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of diary, we'll talk about that later. Dear diary, yeah. I woke up. Some cultist tried to. Ha some cultist want me to do their bidding. Suckers. <laughs> dear diary. Day dear two. I need blood. Dear, <laughs> dear diary. Fuck humans. <laughs> <laughs> and it just repeats for like eighty-six other days. <laughs> axe armors. They pretty much are going to throw the axe one of two ways: talk, aim low, aim high, or wait for the axe and whip accordingly. Yeah. Uh, this game graphically was set the standards for Castlevania for quite a long time because they are fucking unapologetic at this point. You were using a lot of sprites. Yeah. Of up until, I want to say, Order of Ecclesia for the DS game because those axe armor sprites keep getting reused. Um, I believe there are a couple of more enemies that we'll see that are just... It's like, I really can't be asked to design another axe armor. <laughs> Can we just use Rondo? But yeah, that's the seventh time we use axe armor. Right? Well, eight won't hurt. I really like this rendition of this, of this track here. Oh, they oh, can't just say this soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. Like, holy shit. It's shit. funky as shit. And we're probably get a content idea at some point or <laughs> place because I don't know. I don't know. Actually, oh, money. Konami has actually gotten a little loose with the Iron Fist when it comes to soundtrack because, you know, out of all the Castlevania games that we played for the channel, we played uh, one through 
uh, Super Castle 94, and we did uh, Bloodlines last year. Uh, we have not gotten a content ID at all. Yeah, from that's part. Part. so far. Yeah. Let's push our luck so far with one of the best soundtracks. In this <laughs> you know what's going to really push our luck? Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Um, because, holy Ooh. shit, they love that soundtrack so much. Okay, can we talk about invincibility frames in Rondo of Blood, or I, I eat the lack thereof? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because uh, another thing that... I'd rather talk more about that behemoth chasing you. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is, is that in Rondo of Blood... Okay, we got the key. Let's hold on to that key. In fact, let's not let's let's try not to whip any more candles because I don't really want to pick up anything in the middle of this chase sequence. Yeah. Not that you know that's immediately bad, but well, you know, still we don't want to lose the key. Yeah, but for some reason in Rondo of Blood and in Castlevania Dracula X on the Super Nintendo, they reduced the, uh, the number of invincibility frames Richter is allowed to have, and I don't get it. Huh. Oh, it's half a behemoth. Yeah. And, and it just, just fell apart. <laughs> so it's not even so it's not even behemoth. It's just behemoth. Yeah. <laughs> well, better not than a moth. Yeah. But, oh. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm call back to Castlevania 1. It's like this is the same part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a callback as in a direct fucking rip. <laughs> so, yeah, we needed that key to unlock this gate. And get away from it. And now I'll meet Johnny's new playable character. Yeah. <laughs> Only if I get a game over with Richter. Is that Samus? No. <laughs> oh, it's Peach. Blonde hair, pink dress. <laughs> it's Peach. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, that's right. Uh, here's the thing. Because the cutscenes are also entirely in Japanese with no subtitles. So we, uh, we don't really have any context of what's going on. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could be no fun and just say what's actually happening. But, I mean, what's the fun in that? We can improv a little bit, right? Hi. Are, are you, you <laughs> here to rescue me? Are you my Uber Eats? <laughs> <laughs> Silly girl. I'm just your regular Uber. Well, actually, what we should do is, um, so the voice of Richter yeah. in Symphony of the Night is Scott McCulloch. Yes. The same voice actor of Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 1. Oh, shit. So, I can't do that voice. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, little boy. <laughs> I'm actually 600 years old. <laughs> I oh, you're a lolly. I'm this many. <laughs> I just keep sweating. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, I have magical birds. They fly out of my dress, and I can kick some serious ass. In fact, I'm more better than you in every way. Hey, you know what's funny? I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can't speak Japanese, you foolish ass? <laughs> It's just like the end. The, like the end result of this is that Richter has no idea what the fuck anybody's saying. Because exactly, <laughs> and he's racist. He's the like, fuck? yeah, this game. You know, this game takes place in uh, Transylvania, and everyone's supposedly speaking German, but everyone's speaking Japanese too. So. It's like Attack on Titan it takes place in Germany. Everyone speaks well, Japanese. Well, you know, it, it, in a way, kind of reminds me of Snake Eater. While everyone might be speaking English, it's implied that they're speaking Russian. Actually, uh, okay. Uh, Only. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I'll have a Senor Gurdita crunch with that. Like, thank you. <laughs> yes, um, I'll take the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> I never had sushi before. Why did you grab the holy water? <laughs> uh, because I want You the, have no uh, sub weapon. Oh, I forgot. I used the key. Yeah, you used the key. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what happened right now. <laughs> So this level design is also a callback, i.e. direct rip from Castlevania 1. Yes. This is where you fight the bat. Yes. Bat company. Uh, yeah. I was kind of waiting for the bat to show up. <laughs> 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 That's why it's not. No, no, no. But Rondo, but uh, you know, just reused the area. Like, this is the real boss of the stage. The Minotaur? No, no. The werewolf. Oh, the werewolf. Oh, there he werewolf. is. Yeah. This thing becomes a regular mook in later games. What a downgrade. I'm not winning this fight, though. I'm at low health. With no sub-weapon, though, I can light my whip on fire. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh... Oh yeah. I'm voiced by Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Is he? I mean, he played Teen Wolf. So it's like a hike. <laughs> you just dis you just evaporated in a pool of red mist. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. In the uh, Castlevania Dracula X, it was changed to like white mist. So I guess you dissolve in a sea of cum. <laughs> that was the last bullet in the barrel. <laughs> Came and went at the same time. So it Absolutely. So it seems like the Baltimore e Ravens have a chance at winning. <laughs> now, I don't think there was a football team after werewolves. No. Maybe the Jaguars the closest thing. There, there are the Timberwolves, but that's ba that's basketball. Panthers. 
Yeah, so uh, Richter introduces the idea of... Hydro Storm? Uh, I, no, uh, uh, well, rain. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bring rain to you fellow tribesmen. <laughs> now start speaking English, for God's sake. <laughs> no, uh, on a second. On a second That'll uh, be 10 American dollars. <laughs> and meanwhile, the world's like, what's America? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't do really think at this point in time. But, I uh, like how way. the werewolf is hover is like apparently gliding on the ceiling there for a minute, and there's no ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what? it. Whoa, Kaizo. Yeah. All right, well, so so this, that's more of a death attack than a Kaizo. Uh, every enemy in this game has a desperation attack. Good thing is they can't kill you, even if you're at low health. They're oh, just okay. meant to scare you. Oh. Except for one boss. One boss's desperation attack can kill you. Is it death? No. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> is it shafts? Okay, we'll go more into the uh, uh, the concepts that Rondo Blood introduced, starting with the next part. We're going to call it a wrap here. Thank you for tuning in for tonight's part of Rondo Blood. We'll see you guys tomorrow, because this is a daily playthrough yep. until Halloween Fest ends. Yep.